In the last episode of Black Clover. Dark magic can interfere with the other world. This key. It's Captain Yami! It's the best! The best! Oh my god, yo, Yami's a goat. This is how to do a boss fight! This is how to do a boss fight! Yo, when the demon's at his limit. Oh, she believes in him! That's all he needs to hear! Yo, deadass, if they just decided to end Black Clover and go on a hiatus after this, I'm fine with that. Oh shit, bro. Oh my god, that looks so fucking sick! When you get bopped so hard, you turn manga in the anime, bro. Yo, what is going on, my husbandos and waifus? My name is Hermzar. Welcome to another live reaction review of Black Clover. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. My dudes, the last episode was unbelievably amazing. And as you guys know, lately, Tuesdays have been uploading pretty late. So Tuesdays and Wednesdays are going to be really, really iffy because of uh, my time schedule. There's going to be a lot going on. But but uh, I'll get back to that when you watch the vlog next week. But anyways, I'm here for Black Clover. Let's fucking go, my dude. This was such a good moment. Boyfriend! Yo, Yami fucking goaded. The music was so much better when it was the first Black Clover opening. Straight fuck this bitch up. Loved it. Fucking loved it. I liked it better when they used the first Black Clover opening than this, you know, background music. <laughs> <laughs> Epic background music. Oh, if you guys didn't see in the last vlog, I made Cry react to all of the Black Clover openings, all 10. Check that shit out. <laughs> Fucking opening is so gangster, I swear to God. Bakuna! 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 <laughs> hey there, Chief! Demon talking to Demon. Oh shit! Asta's demon is such a gangster, dude. And I love that. It's Asta's demon. I fucking dig that. Now everything is over. Do you understand the relief that is coming out of their shoulders? Aw, she's like, Asta did it, dude. Asta's burnt the fuck out, though. Oh, the music is so good. Is that music of relief? No. Yummy, yummy. Yes, Asta did this thing. But yummy. <laughs> yummy, bro. Yummy gave that opening for Asta. Is she touching his butt? And she's like, now nah, let me whip you. Who does Yami like more, Charlotte or Charla? The attack of CG. Oh shit. Wizard King's breaking! Charizard, hurry, Charizard! Oh shit. Oh no, it's this guy. See, they're helping them out. The guy with the pink eye and everything. <laughs> Rod, yo, Rod, someone farted on Rod as his pillow. I swear to God, that's the only reason why his eyes red. There was a boneless ham that happened to pass by. <laughs> he doesn't even know, remember who Revchi is? Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> She's small again. She doesn't remember? I'm always the sexy older girl. I mean, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, do you guys ship you know and Charmy? Or you know and <laughs> Asta? Oh my god, the elves are still attacking the kingdom. Because they don't know what happened in there. <laughs> yes! Mira Leona's gonna punch the fuck out of everyone. Man, they're still- he's still willing to forgive him? Fuck that! He tried to kill me! <laughs> so there were some things like in the manga that wasn't too clear for me. I'm sure that's going to be reintroduced in this episode. Damn, did you see how pissed off Yami is when he saw him? I wonder if that curse is ever going to be brought back again, like why he has that on his face. Or was it explained? I don't remember. I'm hoping that it gets explained later on. Slice him up! <laughs> <laughs> they all got the O faces on. That's what really happened. It's cool that he's Leet Sword is still called Demon Dweller. And Nasta has a Demon Dweller as well. I think that's so cool. Honestly, like, the animation of this part was really good. The animation of this whole arc was pretty good. Like, I have no complaints, bro. The way this arc was depicted in the anime was way better than the manga. And usually, I prefer the manga over the anime. They did a phenomenal job. You know it'd be super cool if they end up joining like a Magic Knight team? And Raya, you could have prevented this all! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Yami, don't you go cheating on Charlotte now! Who's better, Charlotte or Charlotte? I don't know. Why not take both? Oh! It felt like I got to fight alongside my son. His son was inside of Yuno. That's awesome. That was an awesome parallel. 
He's like, that grimoire belongs to you now because this grimoire dirty as fuck. <laughs> and there they all go. Into heaven? <laughs> Look at Rodis. Ah, Padre stuck! <laughs> Reanimation is something that the first few seasons of Block Clover need. <laughs> what a petty ass bitch! Yo, Pot, someone hella farted on Pottery's eye, though. They kissed? Oh, no, they're just hugging. Oh, no, that's William. Oh, do we ship this? Oh, Yami pissed off still. Dude, look how fucked up this area is, though. At least they're all working together to fix things. Man, fuck, fuck you, Kermit the Frog. Didn't do shit except run away and get bodied. <laughs> At least he's getting healed up. <laughs> you are? I always thought you were an amazing bird! So... We'll continue watching. Because <laughs> I'm like, waifu, she cute, I guess. She 500 years old. The spiteful, adorable Nero is. She's pretty cute, too. <laughs> oh, no! He's breaking! Who would have thought, though, in this arc, we would see the first Wizard King? And that's, like, one of the trippiest things ever. Oh, this song. Oh, and it's fitting for this. Excellent. Oh, man, imagine seeing someone that you truly care about just crumble into stone, dude. Someone should have gave Lumiere some goddamn lotion, man. Oh, are we gonna see it? <laughs> are we gonna see the thing that... Oh, we don't see it! <laughs> oh! I, I, you told him. <laughs> let's go! Let's go, let's see the thing that pissed everybody off! <laughs> The thing to piss everybody off. Let's go. This will piss so many anime viewers off. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> oh my god. I, I I stayed away from Twitter and all of that. I was busy. I was really, really busy. Like, extremely busy today. But I want to see what the, the <laughs> reaction was for anime only. If you're an anime only, how do you guys feel? Leave it in the comment section below. Of course, for me, I'm not surprised. I already knew. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you should have seen the manga people reaction. They were so pissed off and you and you know what pissed me off is the fact that they spoiled it for me I kept it quiet for you guys. I kept saying that he was dead <laughs> You see in the comment section so many people in the in the comments are like I thought you read the manga is he of course I kept it a secret because I'm not trying to spoil it for people. Oh my god Finally finally I can stop saying that fucking joke that people took me literal for yeah Julius is alive. I was pretty much reviewing it throughout this episode, but if we backtrack and I tell you guys how I feel about it so far and me doing overall, but first let's go with this episode. The leaving of the elves, super dramatic. I was kind of sad to see Lumiere leave because I wanted to get more out of Lumiere. I thought Lumiere was one of the coolest characters that was introduced at the late end of the arc, but his whole sole purpose was to be revived and to take on that demon one more time, and he was able to do it with the help of Sekre or Nero. Nero stays behind, of course, and Patri gets <laughs> re-brought back because of fucking Rodis' petty ass. Someone must have farted on both of their pillows. They probably farted on each other's pillow. They're just petty and just trying to pull pranks off of each other. Of course, right at the very end, we see the return of Julius, but he looks younger. Now, a lot of people are like, this is a cop-out in the manga, right? This is a fucking cop-out. First of all, all right, let me let me tell you guys what I said in the manga review, okay? <laughs> this is what I said in the manga review. One, this is a goddamn shonen anime. Rarely characters die or there's always some way where they're brought back to life, right? Number two, it was never fully confirmed that he was fully dead because right after he passed he disappeared and we never seen him after that I, I just had this feeling and i kept telling people he's not dead there has to be something there's a loophole that's going to happen i mean think about it what's his magic and if you guys see like right at the very end there's like one page fluttering downwards that's a significance for something which will get explained later on in the next episode i called it i fucking called it at the very beginning i just didn't want to spoil it for you guys because i already knew so i just kept going along with the oh he's dead <laughs> But still, even seeing when we saw his fight against against Pachiri and the, how he was killed, at that point when we were reading, he wasn't he was dead in the manga, so we, it was still not confirmed whether he, if he was alive or not. Kind of to show you how far the manga is in comparison to this. So there's still like a long ways to go. This arc overall phenomenal. 
<laughs> animation was pretty consistent throughout this whole arc, which I'm very grateful for because this is probably one of the greatest arcs of the, the current greatest arc of Black Clover. I mean, the most recent arc in the manga is pretty phenomenal as well, but this arc was great and I had so much fun watching it. Seeing everything that I read come to life and a little bit more introduction to what was brought back, I dig it. I think, I definitely think the anime did it better than the manga for sure, in my personal opinion. One is because they, of course, they kept the animation to its quality, the minimum quality of pretty good, and the moments where it should be like, ah, it was ah. By the way, I heard in the last episode when they were fighting the demon, they stayed up all night to get the animation perfectly. So thank you, Studio Periot team, for working really hard on that last episode. And now, even even this episode, even though they, they chilled out a little bit, it was still decent. No complaints. I really, really like this arc. Even to the point where I say I might like this arc a lot more than a lot of the My Hero Academia arcs that are animated. But still, this was, oh my god, it was so good. <laughs> I just can't wait to see people's reaction to that fucking, fucking Julie. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was my live reaction review. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. Subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.